While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Today you celebrate Mother's Day. Is that holiday uh, in the Bible? Can we read about Mother's Day in the Bible? Y'all want to come over to find out what we're teaching? To see why we're in the conditions that we are in today? That we can prove to you that you've been taught lies in this country? Bring it on Give me Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Let me read that real quick. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. We're going to deal with Mother's Day. And we're going to see if you really believe in this Bible. Right. If you really believe in the one true God, right. the God of heaven and earth. Right. Read what you got. The book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So the Bible says beware, meaning what? You got to be on the lookout. You got to be on the lookout, lest any man spoil you. Rob you of your heritage. Rob you of your nationality. Rob you of the true identity that you support or the laws that you support to be keeping in this Bible but we as, as a people have not been aware we have not been on the lookout for the false teachings that's been taught in this earth read it again beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy through philosophy meaning what their doctrines things that they believe in things that they came up with read it one more time beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Uh huh. After the tradition of men. After the tradition of men, Mother's Day is the, a tradition of man. You must sit down and read your Bible. Right. You got to open up your Bible. That's, right. That's what the Bible says. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Right. Not let your pastor tell you what he thinks or what he feels. That's not in the Bible. The white man has taught us philosophies in slavery. These doctrines, these holidays that we celebrate today was taught to us in slavery. We didn't know how to read, we didn't know how to write. They beat us, they raped our women, they raped our men, and they forced us to keep the holidays that we keep today because you can't find it in the Bible. You're celebrating the idolatrous holiday. Read. After the tradition of men, uh -huh. after the rudiments of the world. And this, this holiday was founded on the earth by men, read. And not after Christ. And what? And not after Christ. Please come over here and show us where can we find Mother's Day in the Bible. Bring it up. Please come over here and show us where we can find Mother's Day in the Bible and we'll pack up and leave. We'll go. Prove us wrong. Come on. Give me Luke chapter 11 verse 27. Luke chapter 11 verse 27. This is why we're in the conditions that we are in today because we're sacrificing unto idols. We're sacrificing unto devils. We're not serving the one true God. Read. And it came to pass, it out. as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice uh -huh. and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee. So this woman came up to Christ and told Christ, Blessed is the womb that bare thee. Read on. And the paps which thou hast sucked. And the breast that you, that, and, the, and the woman that breastfed you. Read. But he said, Yay! Rather blessed are they that hear the word of God uh -huh. and keep it. So the Bible says, Christ came back and says, because this woman tried to put Christ's mother on the pedestal. This, wo this woman tried to put Christ's mother on the pedestal. Right. Christ said, no, no, no. Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it That's and right. do it and keep God's commandments. Can I get somebody to Google the, uh, Sunday? Sunday. Because what day do we suppose to worship the Lord? What's the day that the Lord say keep? Give me that real quick. Somebody give me the definition of Sunday. The definition of Sunday. Give me uh, Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Watch this. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it out. Say the first day. First day of the week. Go ahead. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. What did the Lord say? Remember the Sabbath day. To keep it holy. So God says, remember the seventh day, meaning the seventh day of the week. Remember the seventh day of the week. Watch this. Sunday, the day of the week before Monday and following sat Saturday, observed by Christians as a day of feast and religious worship. And together with Saturday forming part of the weekend. 
the first day of the week. What is Sunday? The first day of the week. What is Sunday? The first day of the week. Now watch this, read that again. Remember the seventh day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the seventh day of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. So the Lord says that we're not supposed to work upon the seventh day. So what did, what did I want to bring out to y'all? That today is the day that you're worshiping. You're not worshiping the one true God in this Bible. You're worshiping the devil. Right. That's who you're worshiping. Right. Yesterday was the day that you're supposed to keep. God says, remember the seventh day to keep it holy. If you can hear the words that's coming out of this Bible, you must repent, brothers and sisters. We came out here to bring, some, bring forth salvation unto you because you've been taught lies. Right. You've been taught lies in your Christian church. And who's teaching you these lies? Give me Lamentations, chapter 2. The book of Lamentations, chapter 2 and verse 14. By prophets. By who? By prophets. Your pastors, your deacons, your priests. Read it again. Thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee. The Bible says your prophets, your pastors, have seen vain and foolish things for thee. Vain and foolish things for thee. One of those vain and foolish things that the pastor have seen for you is uh, Mother's Day. It's worshiping God today. It's not the day that the Lord say worship him. It was yesterday on Saturday, which is the Sabbath day. I want you brothers to listen good. So we just found out that Sunday is the first day of the week. Let's see what day that God told us to keep. Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Go ahead. Remember the Sabbath day. Remember what? Remember the Sabbath day. What did the Lord say? Remember the Sabbath day. What did the Lord say? Remember the Sabbath day. Come on. To keep it holy. God says remember the Sabbath day. Remember the Sabbath day. Remember the seventh day. Sunday is the first day of the week. So when is the seventh day of the week? Saturday. Yesterday was the day that you're supposed to keep unto the Lord. That's right. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the seventh day to keep it home. Come on. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Okay. So, so the Lord said that we're supposed to keep the seventh day holy. Can anybody come over here and show me that today is the day that we're supposed to be keeping as a people? Listen, brothers and sisters, we're out here to bring forth salvation unto those that are lost. The lost sheep of the house of Israel, which are you so-called Hispanics, you so-called blacks. You are the children of Israel. You're not African-American. You're not a Negro. You're not a Puerto Rican. You're not a Cuban. Come over and ask questions. Come over and challenge us. Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. You brothers and sisters, I bet you all the money I got in my pocket, the pastor did not open the Bible and read the Bible to y'all all while he was talking. He probably read y'all one or two oh, verses she, she and started singing and dancing and started talking for two hours straight. That's not what God want us to do. He says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Read. You got to pick up your Bible and read it. Right. You just can't let a man tell you what he think and what he feel. Hey, the pastor was a woman. You can't let the pastor tell you what she think, what she feel. You got to open the Bible and read it. Give me Jeremiah 44. Mother's Day is not in the Bible. Y'all celebrated Easter Sunday last month. It's not in the Bible. Then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods. So the men of Israel knew that their wives was in the midst of sin, that they was worshiping other gods. The man supposed to be the head of the household. He's supposed to be the one that's guiding his wife, guiding his children. Whatever goes on in the house is supposed to come through the husband first. Right. But these men seen their women in idolatry. Preacher. Just like a lot of you brothers right now. A lot of y'all, the only reason y'all go to this church is because your wives make you go. It's because your wives make you go. You don't come to church because you want to. You go to church because your wife make you go. Read it again. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 44, and verse 15. Read. Then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods. Unto uh, other gods. They was worshiping the queen of heaven. It's going to say it. Read. What y'all doing today? Mother's Day, you're worshiping the queen of heaven. Isis. 
Diana, that's who you worshiping. You're not worshiping the God of this Bible. Nobody over there could come over here and show us that Mother's Day is in the Bible for us to keep. That today is Sunday, the day we're supposed to be worshiping. The Lord says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. What are we doing today? Where, do we, where did Mother's Day come from? Why are we celebrating it? You celebrating the tradition of men. You seeing your mama do it, so you do it. You seeing your daddy do it, so you do it. But you never read it out of the Bible. Nobody ever sat down and read it out of the Bible. Today, right now, today, whether y'all believe it or not, whether y'all want to hear it or not, y'all in the midst of sin. And a lot of people don't want to hear, well, don't judge me. I ain't going to judge you. That's the problem with our people. Nobody want to judge nobody. But in the Bible, it says judge righteous judgment. Who taught you that you can't judge? Where did that come from? Your pastor. Your pastor taught you that you cannot judge me. That's a Tupac song. That's not in the Bible. Read. And all the women that stood by a great, mul a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Israel. Those of you that are sincere with serving the Lord God, you're going to come over here and listen to the word of God. We're not out here to beat nobody down. We're out here to save your souls from death. That's because right. destruction is coming to this land. Bring it out. We're not out here to tie nobody down. We out here to bring salvation unto you, bring the true gospel of God unto you yes. because you're in the midst of sin and the wages of sin is death. Right. You're not going to make it to the kingdom of heaven doing the things that you're doing. That's right. You're worshiping idols. Mother's Day is an idolatrous holiday that we're not supposed to be keeping. As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee. So just like our forefathers in the past, they told Jeremiah, the words that you spoke unto us from God, we ain't doing that. We going to do what we want to do. Why? Because y'all, our people is in their own feelings. They want to do their own thing. But you don't know, doing your, hold this real quick. Give me Proverbs 14, verse 12. I'm going to show you what's going to happen to you for doing your own thing. Or for following the tradition of men. Mother's Day. Following the tradition of men. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 14 and verse 12. Bring it up. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. So you might sit back and say, hey, you know what? I've been celebrating uh, Mother's Day all my life. My mother's mother did it. My mother's 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 did it. And it, it seemed right. Why? Because that's what society tells you. Society tells you that it is right. You see the majority of the people on this earth celebrate Mother's Day. So you say, you know what? It got to be right. It seemed right to me. Sunday, we've been doing that all our life. So it seemed right to me. The Bible says there is a way which seemeth right unto a man. Read on. But the end thereof are the ways of death. But the end of what y'all doing, you're going to die. You're going to be put to death. At the end of all that you're doing, that, that you think you're worshiping God, you're going to die. You're going to die in the midst of that worship that you're doing because you're not worshiping the one true God. You, you're going off your feelings. That's what you're doing. You're going off your feelings. You're not going off what the Bible says. A lot of us grew up all our lives celebrating these holidays, so it seemed right. Society says it's all good. Do you. You can do whatever you want to do. You can be whatever you want to be. Want to be. That's what society tells you. That's not what God tells you. So there is a way which seeming right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. But the end of what you're doing, you're going to get put to death. And that death that we're talking about is not, it's, it's not a regular death. We're talking about that lake of fire. That eternal death where you're going to feel pain for the rest of your life. Teacher! For the rest of your life. Give me Romans chapter 10 real quick. Because a lot of our people, we, we do. We got a spirit where we want to serve the Lord. But are we serving the Lord according to what this Bible tells us to? Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. You're not picking up your Bible and reading it. I see all these people come out of the church, but nobody got a Bible in their hand. What is going on? What is really, nobody got a Bible in their hand. No one has a Bible in their hand. Let's read it again. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. You're not supposed to go in the church and just let your pastor tell you what he thinks and what he feels. 
The Bible says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. How are you going to do that going into church and you don't have a Bible? You don't have a Bible. Where is your Bible? All these people coming out of this church with no Bible. Isaiah 29 verse 13. What's going on? The book of Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as these people draw near me with their mouth. So we, what does God say? The people draw, you draw near God with your mouth. Meaning you say, I love God. I want to do what the Lord say. But you don't have a Bible in your hand and you just came out of church. So you draw near God with your mouth. I mean a lot of lip service. You do a lot of lip service when it comes to God. That's what the Lord is saying. Read it again. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me. So I love the Lord. Oh yes, I love God. I love God. Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. You draw near God with your mouth and with your lips, you honor God. But have removed their heart far from me. Your thoughts is not on God. The way you think is not towards the Lord. The way you act is not towards God. You have removed your heart far from the Lord. The Lord is about action. He is about action. How you doing, sis? And I'm going to prove it to you. The Lord is not about all this lip service that we be doing in these churches. The hollering, singing, dancing, hey, praising, running around. That's not in the Bible. That's not the Holy Ghost. You've been lied to. You've been deceived. You've been robbed. You've been spoiled. That's what happened to you because you don't open your Bible and read. You don't open up your Bible and read it. You go into church and just sit down and just let the pastor tell you whatever he thinks and whatever he feels. Read. The book of 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 3. Talk no more, so exceeding proud. So the Lord says, stop running your mouth. That's what he's saying. Talk no more, so exceedingly proudly. You're running around saying you love God, you love Jesus. You're willing to do whatever for God. He says, I don't want to hear all that lip service. Read. Let not arrogancy come out of th your mouth. So, Because when you do those things and when you say those things, that's arrogancy. You're just running your mouth. That's what the Lord is saying. Read on. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. The Lord is a God of knowledge. And by him, actions are way. And by him, what? Actions are way. What? Actions are way. So God is about action. He's about making things happen. Well, pull over, sis, and deal with us. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 2. Sis, don't have an accident. You're on the wrong side of the road. You're on the wrong side of the road, sister. For, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of God. So we know that our people have a zeal of God, meaning you really want to serve the Lord. You really want to keep, look at this. And that's what they teach you in church, huh? The sister that threw a bottle of water at us. That, I guess that's what they, the pastor teaching you in the church. But and we reading the Bible. We reading the Bible. You throw a bottle of water at us. And she just came out of church. I want y'all to see this. This is what the Christian pastor is teaching. That's the love of Jesus right there. Read it again. The book of Romans chapter 10 and verse 2. For I bear the record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Let's get knowledge. So even Paul knew, even at this time, our people had a zeal of God. They wanted to, they wanted to serve the Lord, but they was not serving him according to the knowledge of this Bible. Why, why y'all not serving God according to the knowledge of the Bible? Because you don't want to open up your Bible. The book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So we're dealing with knowledge because Paul just said, I know they got a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. So the Bible says your pastor, your priest, your deacons and reverends, mouth should keep knowledge. Read it again. The book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So God says that they should seek the law. When you go to your priests, when you go to your leaders in these churches, you're supposed to ask them about God's laws. Isaiah 30. You're supposed to ask them about God's laws. What is it that the Lord want me to do? What laws am I breaking? What laws do I suppose to keep so that I can make it to the kingdom of heaven? Can somebody come over here and tell us how do you get to the kingdom of heaven? Can somebody come over here and tell us, how do you get the kingdom of heaven? Can somebody come over here and show us what's the love of Jesus? Huh? Isaiah chapter 30, verse 8. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 8. Bring it out. 
Now, go, write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. The note in a book is talking about the Bible. Read on. That this is a rebellious people. How people rebel against God all day long. You go against what this Bible say. The Bible says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Let's see who's going to bring their uh, Bibles to church next Sunday. And actually open it up. And actually ask questions. Read. Lying children. What does the Bible say? Lying children. We'll, you'll come over here and tell us that God told you to keep uh, Easter Sunday. Or God told you to keep Mother's Day. Just lying children. That's what the Israelites do. Read. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. You heard what the Bible? So somebody was telling us that the reason why the Israelites wasn't keeping God's laws because they was too hard. But that's not what you read in the Bible. Read that part again. The children that were what? Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. It's not that they, did, that they couldn't keep it. It's that they didn't want to keep it. It's not that they couldn't keep God's laws. It's that, that they didn't want to keep it. You don't read in the Bible where the Israelites couldn't keep the commandments. They didn't want to keep the commandments. Let's get another precept on that. Psalm 78. The book of Psalms, chapter 78 and verse 10. They kept not the covenant of God and refused to walk in his law. And what? And refused to walk in his law. Boom. There you go. They refused to keep God's laws. It's not that they couldn't keep it. So who told you that? Your lying pastors told you that it's too hard to keep God's commandments. The Israelites couldn't do it in the Old Testament. That's a lie. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.